Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can perform a postal uh, test for a McNemer Bowker test using R or specifically R Studio. In a previous video I showed you that I loaded some data, uh, used the library stat, created a table and then performed the McNemer test which had as a result uh, 0.003237. Now, to figure out which one uh, is causing uh, this significance, um, w one suggestion was to actually collapse uh, the 3x3 three three table into all possible 2x2 two two tables. And since we're interested here in to know specifically if someone switched from A to B or from B to A, uh, if that's significantly different, uh, we're really collapsing it only to 2x2. Two two. Well, for example, with the Bobcar post hook, uh, you would consider A versus not A. So that's slightly different. Um, unfortunately, I haven't figured out a way to do this with apply or t-apply, so uh, I'm actually using a for statement. If you know a way to actually um, use t-apply or perhaps faster way of doing this pairwise comparison, please let me know. Uh, I'm highly interested. Um, the first thing I will need are, uh, which could be useful, the number of rows and the number of columns, uh, which of course would be the same, it's uh, three for each. And um, I'm going to be creating some vectors in this case. Um, the pair itself, which will be used to show which pair was actually done. The exact significance, the adjusted exact significance, the approximate significance, and the adjusted approximate significance. Now what we're going to be doing is, uh, we're going to be going over all the rows, except the last one. And then for each of those, we're going to go over the uh, column, but then the next column until the last column. So that way it's actually going to run, oh, uh, I was here. So if we scroll in the console a bit up, so it's going to go for uh, the first row and then it's going to start with A versus B, A versus C, and then B versus A and B, uh, and that's it actually because then all of the other ones have been done already. So the pair itself uh, is going to be stored under uh, the length of, uh, the of that factor and then so the first one is going to be the row names of the table and then uh, a small uh, dash or a uh, minus sign, and then uh, the row names of the table, so that we know that it's going to be brand A versus brand B. The exact significance is actually a binomial test, um, so that's going to be binom.test, and then the two values, so uh, ij, and then the two combined, and it's actually uh, using then the default point 0.5 actually as uh, for the test. And the adjusted is going to be Bonferroni adjustment, which means simply to multiply the uh, exact significance uh, unadjusted uh, times the number of pairwise comparisons, which is actually how many times you can choose uh, two unique values out of uh, the number we have uh, three. So in total that will be in this case also three, because you can choose three um, out of uh, three two times in two different ways it's not making any sense does it um, you can choose if you have three items you can choose two in three different ways now it makes sense then uh, the approximate significance is actually done by using a chi-square approximation which is then uh, the value uh, minus uh, the other value so in this case brand A versus brand B would be the 10 versus the 3 you subtract the two, square the result, and then divide by the sum of the two. That's actually a McNemer test. Uh, and then again, we use the approximation uh, using the chi-square uh, distribution. And to adjust it, we multiply that again by the final one, the uh, how many combinations are possible. So let's run this. Um, Control enter uh, No errors, so that's good. And then the result I will store as a data frame and it shows the pair, the exact significance, the adjusted one, the approximate one, uh, and the adjusted approximate one. Control enter. And then to show finally the results, I now have here a nice little table showing that brand A versus brand B has an exact significance of 0.09, which gets adjusted to 0.27. 
and uh, if we would have used approximate the chi square the McNemer one uh, it would have been 0 0.05 and adjusted 0 0.15 now looking at these none of them are significant uh, also here none of them are significant so unfortunately we cannot really pinpoint down to exactly what caused the original test the McNemer Bauker test to be significant because when doing the pairwise con uh, comparison and inflating for or punishing ourselves for multiple testing um, none of them become significant so overall we can't really pinpoint it down uh, my biggest uh, hint would be between brand B and C because that has the lowest significance but it's not in the end significant because well the multiple comparisons alright and that's it